Hey, what's up guys? So I decided to make a video today. It's an unusual video. It may help some and it may uh, not help others. So the title of this video is going to be Veracrypt and a last ditch attempt on getting in. Before I get in started on um, what happened and uh, how I figured it out, um, let me tell you a backstory of, of what I had going on. So I had a very small file. Um, I used an online generator to generate a password like you see here. And I put some of the files in the Veracrypt uh, container and then later on um, used the same password and everything on a thumb drive that I was taken to and from clients. Only because I've lost thumb drives before and it would be something simple like a, a software serial or a software application. Somebody picks that up or finds it then they have a licensed copy of software that belongs to my client. So disk encryption has become something uh, very important. So anyways I've been using it, um, copying stuff to it um, forever. Um, Mainly uh, between, like, I'll be working on a Linux um, file or copy something, and um, I, I've been using this desktop sticky. So this is my specific situation. Yours may differ. If you're able to get into your volume, I would highly recommend you do a backup of the header. If anybody's interested in that, I could take the time and show you how that's done. But for this demonstration, this is if you know the password and you're getting an error. So let me go ahead and start off by getting the error first. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And you notice I'm being extra careful. I'll show you why. So let's go into our distro. Alright, so I'm hoping it gets this. But let's go into the distro and let's mount it. So we're going to select this test file I did on the desktop here. And I'm going to hit display password so you can see. The password is exactly as it was on the clipboard. So you're going to see this error. Operation failed due to one or more of the following. Incorrect password, incorrect volume PIM header, incorrect RPF hash, or not a vo vo volume. Now this is where I want you to pay close attention. As you see, it starts with 2 and ends with F. But what I didn't realize before I redid my windows is i just been copying and pasting it from the day I created it. Clipboard here, and I select it like I do in a hurry. I don't know if you noticed that, but I took on some space here and it even does it with the space here. In your case it may be a space after your password that you know works or it may be this scenario here. And how I got this, normally I just paste it in, I don't pay any mind to it. But you hit this display password here and if you look at the end of this you'll see there's two of these weird characters. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of them out and again take a look at that character and watch the difference it makes. And there it is. It's mounted. Of course it's empty and it's very small for this test. But again, this is just one of the things. What I tend to do when I, when I, when I know for a fact I'm typing the password right, um, working in the corporate world with this, is I'll make a text document. So I'll open up a text document or something like that and I'll type in all the possible combinations of the password well if your password let's say you use three different key files key one key two and key three and you know for a fact whoops key three and you know for a fact your password was Monday 77 you could have typed it Monday 77 Monday 77 Monday 77 with a space. Try that. Also try that special character. Try different ways that you were copying and pasting it. This is especially true for people who copy and paste. As you see it here, it is correct from here to here. So again, I just figured I'd share that. It it definitely after two days of trying, I was about to give up on the data that was there and uh, turned around and found out, you know, it just I seen it and it caught the corner of my eye when I hit show password that when I created it there was some weird and I and I didn't even take notes. So when you're creating your volume, definitely hit show password. Don't just uh, rely on your copy and paste and uh, let me know what you guys think in the description down below if you guys found this video helpful.